Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7 and I am back with a new track guide. This time we're at Daily Race B for Spa in Group 2 and we've managed to do about, we did about 20 to 25 minutes on time trial on the live stream to get this lap sorted and hopefully it's going to help you out. Now if you do enjoy these videos, if they help you improve your lap time, do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, it really does help me out. But yeah, let's hope that we can find a little bit of pace round here for you at Spa in Group 2. Now we're driving on the racing soft tyres, BOP is on, we're in the Nissan GTR 16 model, so that is the best car for this combination. The NSX 16 loses too much pace on the straight, it's really quick through the corners, but it's just lacking a little bit in terms of overall power, but yeah. Let's get on with this guide. Let's see if we can help you improve your time trial up. And also it should help you out for the race pace as well because not much is changing through the, the braking distances really with fuel on. It's a little bit slower on acceleration and stuff like that, this car. So starting your lap, make sure you get a good solid exit off the final corner using second gear and then going into the first braking zone. We're gonna be looking for the 100 board on the left-hand side, you see it there. Now we are gonna brake ever so slightly past that 100 board. So as we carry this on now, you can see their braking inputs going in just past the 100 board. Now we're gonna brake in a straight line because we don't wanna turn until we're quite far on here. So you can see really getting a late apex so that we can really accelerate out the corner. So still in second gear, we're gonna go down to first gear, trail brake into the apex and then onto the throttle as early as you can and up to second gear and keep that power planted all the way on the exit. And you can see carrying the speed with that square in the corner off and now working our way. This is completely flat out now in group two, sports um, racing soft tires, you do not need to lift it. It's all about keeping the input smooth. You can see on my steering inputs there and then getting as straight as you can over the top of this hill. You can see Killian in front of us there, straight over the curb. It might look um, pointless, but you again, again, ever so slight amount of time and every little bit, every little bit of help you get is obviously a benefit. So now we're going into the next braking zone. We are gonna be looking for the start of the curb. We're gonna brake ever so slightly past the start of the curb. So just as you're going past the curb, braking input going on here, and then you're gonna keep that left-hand tire on this curb because you want to widen the line in as much as possible. You can really see how left-hand tire is right on the edge of the curb. This is gonna give us a wider angle into this right-hand corner. You're gonna see staying in third gear, try and get as close to these bollards on the right. You can actually almost skim them and you won't lose too much time. So right up against them, and then a tiny little bit of braking input here just for rotation to rotate the car into this next corner. You wanna get it into the curb, get it rotated through it, and then on the throttle aggressively here in second gear for a bit of rotation. And then we're gonna to opt to third gear as we get the car over to the left-hand side of the curb. Again, swinging the car in from the left into this next right-hand corner. And again, you wanna get this right-hand tire up onto the apex. You might need to give a little lift off to the throttle as you go through that corner just to stop the understeer kicking in and then powering your way down into this tight right hairpin. So for this corner, start the curb. Again, very good reference to use for your braking reference. You can see as we approach it there, onto the brakes, pretty much dead at the start of it. And now you're gonna try and hold a very tight line through this right-hand corner. So keeping it nice and tight to the apex because this does have off camber on this corner. So I like to stay nice and tight to the apex. On the throttle quite aggressively in second gear and then up shift to third gear as you're coming out the exit. And then again, you're gonna swing the car from the right-hand side into the left. So you wanna get the right-hand tire almost onto the curb on the right-hand side. You see up onto the curb, and this is gonna then rotate at a wider angle into this left-hand corner, enabling you to take a little bit more speed through here. So again, left-hand tire, you wanna get as close to the bollards as possible. You can see I'm slightly away from them there, could have been a bit closer, and that causes me to run a little bit wide there, getting a little bit of tire on the Astro, which loses me a, maybe half a tenth, a tenth of a second. And now we're working away into this really fast left-hand corner. What you're doing here is gonna turn this as late as possible with a tiny little bit of braking input. So you wanna go as late as possible into this corner and carry fifth gear. Do not go down to fourth gear. Carry fifth gear through here, get on the power and just keep the car planted all the way through this left-hand corner. Once you get the hang of doing that in fifth gear, you will gain a lot of time on your time trial time. So now using the 50 board for this right-hand corner as our braking reference, that is a perfect reference to the start of the curb downshift to fourth gear and then into third gear as you approach the corner. So you're gonna see again, getting this car into the apex, down to third gear, let the car just trail brake into the apex, then onto the throttle, start putting that throttle input in as you're going through the corner. And again, just a tiny little bit of braking input in for the next left, just to rotate the car. You're not gonna be aggressive on the brakes, it's just a fraction just to get a bit of weight transfer onto the front tires. And then again, early on the throttle, up to fourth gear on the exit, 
And now again, we're going into this right hand corner. And you're going to use the start of the curb of the reference, but brake before the curb this time because you need to get this car slowed down so that you can get on the power earlier because it's so important to be on the power as early as you can. You see pretty much dead on the middle of the apex, maximum throttle because you're going to go flat out from that point all the way into the final braking zone because this is completely flat in this car, no lifting at all. And the earlier you're on the throttle there, the more speed you're going to carry all the way up this hill and then all the way into the final chicane. So very important corner that to get right. You can gain two temps just by nailing that corner. Now we're going flat out through that left. Don't need to lift through there. Just keep the input smooth and then into the next braking zone. We're going to break an imaginary line in between the 150 and the 100 ball, pretty much dead in between these boards. You're going to break. You can see there onto the brakes in the middle. And now we're going to slow the car down for this final corner. So what you want to do is get the left hand tire onto the curb on the left. And you're going to get the right hand tire to cut over the curb on the right hand side on entry. So you can see taking a wide entry in. So you can see Killian doing it as well up onto the curb using first gear. And then again, a little bit of rotation required here. So you're going to see a little tiny bit of braking input going in. Just a tiny bit there. Down to up to second gear. I took a slightly too tight line but managed to stay on the power in second gear. Possibly lost the temp there. But overall, a solid lap, 202.1. Pretty happy with that for 20 minutes of time trial. And yeah, that will do us for the track, guys. So now let's have a little look at that lap from Chase Camera. And you're going to really see from this perspective how much of the track you're using. You're using as much as you physically can on exits, on entries into corners. It's all about making the, the track as wide as possible in these cars to carry even more speed through them and momentum through the corners. And you can see through here, this is just completely flat out, but it's just all about putting smooth inputs in on that steering wheel. You can see nothing too exaggerated. You want to keep the car as smooth as possible so you don't lose any speed as you're going up the hill. Now we're working our way into that corner again. You can see, look at the left hand tires up onto the curb as we approach from this view. You can see up onto the curb, almost onto the grass, widening the line in. Again, using all the curb available, getting the car swung in from the left to the right. Again, very close to the bollards on the right hand side there. And then again into this right hand corner using the curb on the left trying to stay as close to that apex as possible because there's more grip on the inside and you can get on the throttle nice and early in this car and again here slightly miss you can see how it would have been a bit better getting a little bit closer to them bollards caused me to run a little bit wide but not a must better 10th loss there and again this left hand corner it's all about carrying the speed and getting on that throttle and being as aggressive as you can i think there's a bit of time to gain there still probably another 10th or two just on that corner if we hook it up 100 percent but again you can see every single corner just get as close in bollards as you can get almost hitting the bollards on that corner there and then again into this right hand corner very important corner like i said before it's all about getting on the throttle as early as possible try not to go onto the astro on the left there like just about avoided it there almost did that pretty much spot on if you go onto the astro you will lose a bit of momentum then all the way up this straight so just bear that in mind keep the car on the curb and get that throttle down as early as possible then into the final chicane you're going to see again like i say always using the maximum width of the track so left hand tires use the curb on the left you can see up onto the curb widen the line in use the curb on the entry again up into second gear a little bit too aggressive on the early entry there could have done that a little bit better and probably lost the temp so a little bit of time to gain there but overall like i say pretty solid lap hopefully it helps you out make sure you subscribe if it does let me know in the comments if it's improved your lap and i'll see you for more videos in the future thanks again for watching everyone